We get to those developments out of the war in the Middle East now, though. Israel says it's killed a Hamas commander in an airstrike on a refugee camp in northern Gaza. But the Gazan Health Ministry claims that attack also killed dozens of civilians. Sky's Stuart Ramsey reports. Scrabbling through the rubble looking for survivors. Huge craters from strikes on residential buildings in the Jabalaya refugee camp. The north of Gaza is being hammered by the Israeli Defence Forces day and night. The exact number of missiles that struck here and the numbers of dead and injured remains unclear. Survivors and emergency crews attempting to do their best to retrieve anyone alive before darkness fell. The scale of the bombardment and the targeting decisions of the IDF were always going to put the lives of civilians at risk. This is a major invasion and in real terms nowhere in Gaza is safe. Many will want to know why this camp was targeted. The IDF says they were targeting a Hamas commander. This evening, we managed to eliminate the terrorist, the murderer, Ibrahim Biari. Biari is the individual who was the main leader of combat since the entrance of the forces into North Gaza. He was also involved in the October 7th massacre. During his elimination, many terrorists were killed. Terrorists were with him in that building as well as underground. Beneath this building, the uh, targeting of Biari's building led to the collapse of other their buildings because there was very extensive infrastructure there. Both the Israeli Defense Forces and Hamas acknowledge that close quarter fighting is happening. The IDF's latest pictures show Israeli soldiers purportedly firing at Hamas positions. What seems clear is that the soldiers are moving further into Gaza and into more built up areas. They're carrying everything they need to survive on their backs. Armoured personnel carriers, tanks and troops supported by engineers clear the way as they move forward. The military objective is to destroy Hamas wherever they are. But their enemy has a say in this as well, of course. These are Hamas pictures. Their drone clearly identifying an Israeli position they purportedly intend to attack. The soldiers are in the middle, surrounded by tanks. From a tunnel, Hamas fighters emerge. They begin to scatter amongst the sandy brush. The tunnels are their strongest weapon. Shooting starts. A fighter is thrown a rocket-propelled grenade and fires. We can't verify either side's pictures, but it'll certainly be like this. Hundreds of thousands of Israeli soldiers are part of this offensive. Slowly but surely, they're drawing up to join the fight. Well, the border areas with Gaza are now strict military zones. We've seen tanks here and camps being set up and a lot of the kibbutzim that were attacked. It's quite clear that the Israeli soldiers are digging in for a very, very long campaign. Of course, from here, they can get into Gaza very quickly. Through a gap in the border wall, a tank crosses into Gaza. More and more will do the same as the Israeli invasion moves through the phases. All Gaza is a battlefield now a battlefield full of civilians. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Southern Israel.